Good morning or afternoon or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope it's good for you. My name is In Harm's Way, and this is Magic the Gathering Arena. We are on day 320. I am testing out today because for some reason it didn't it didn't go at all on Thursday. It uh took it took my voice. But that was it. These are all 40% off yet. We're not going to grab any of these. Uh, today we have to kill 15 of our opponent's creatures. So, with that in mind, let's go to our killer deck. And let's edit our killer deck. Now, I know that there's a lot of stuff that is going to have to come out of here. Look at that. Lots of stuff. All right, so killer deck was destroyed. So let's see, destroy target. And I want as many instants as we can get. Infernal Grasp, okay. When Covert Cup first enters the Battlefield destroy target creature you don't control that was dealt damage. And that is a dual use creature. Defenestrate is an instant. Destroy target creature without flying. Okay. Murder. Murder is always a good one. We've got three murders so there's those um and then we're gonna want something that also has like death touch and preferably something that like pumps up but i'm not seeing anything here that is like that so let's let's do a plus one here and see what comes up Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one creature. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, we could use legendary. This is when tainted adversary enters the battlefield, you may pay three. When you pay this cost, put that many 1-1 one -one counters on tainted adversary, then create that twice that many. 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I don't really like that one. Slaughter specialist. Each opponent creates a 1-1 white human creature token. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a 1-1 counter on Slaughter Specialist. I like this card, so we're going to put four in there, which means we're actually going to make two more. Uh, what else? We could put a flyer in there, the Blood Veil Purveyor. That's not bad costs only four. We have 11 cars we could be putting in the deck right now. I've got the mirror boxes, so I could put the Henrika in there as well and hope we get the mirror boxes out. Let's do four. At the beginning of your end step, if an opponent lost life this turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target vampire you can see. There. Let's do that. Let's craft them all. I'm pretty sure I have enough, right? 65 mythics, 47 rares. I should have plenty to do 4 and 2, yeah. All right, so this is our new killer deck. And since that's what we're supposed to do this morning... play with the killer deck. There is a sale going on right now. Labor Day sale. To get $30 off Streamlabs Prime today. It's actually pretty good. 
Uh, Gwynnoble, Gwynnable, Gwynnable is our opponent. Wow, look, we got two of them. Wow. We're going to need some more mana. Uh, we're going to need more mana for all of it. Holy crap. We're going to need more mana for all of it, all of it. Okay. That's a third mana. Which one do we kill? One that's going to keep pumping up. We draw another land. Good. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, they create a blood token. Whenever Blood Veil Purveyor attacks, it gains plus one plus zero for each blood token they control. It did three damage. They've got enough with the... They could do another three damage to it. with another abrade. The daybound and nightbound really messed with us. Oh, these aren't treasure tokens. For whatever reason, I was thinking there were treasure tokens. So they can create three treasure tokens or they can exile the top two cards. Okay. That's the route they went. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it against haste. They don't have... Do they have a way of killing it? They might. They've got two treasure tokens. Creatures they control get plus one, plus zero. That's not going to be great for us. So we'll do eight damage. 
they can do four damage with what they've got to us. Plus, then they've got five, six mana to put stuff out, so. Search your library for basic land card, put it in the battlefield, tapped, then shuffle. Ow. We lose two life. We're about to lose this game. And I'll go out on my own instead of letting them come in and kill. They had really good hand. How did we do four of 15? We killed four. Yeah, killer deck did not work as well as I'd hoped. But we did kill four of their creatures. They just had a lot of... I don't tend to build decks with a lot of sorceries or instants. I build decks with creatures normally. And this is a different deck than what I normally build. Wow. They have 180 plus cards still in their hand. How many times will they do that? Not twice. Yeah, so they had nothing to defend against it, and I, I totally understand that. That kind of sucks when you're you have that hand when you don't. And they have plenty of cards, but they just didn't have anything to defend against it. Let's try the angel deck. See how it works. Uh, we've got a lot of decks in here that we can try and play with uh, over time, but I'm trying to see where we're at now with the reset. Fedasante, that's an Ajani. Sixty one card deck. And Mulligan twice.
I do try not to mulligan. Oh. I can put that Ronin out every turn and try and hit us for two points every turn. Oh, they put an Oni out this time. Okay. Two Angelic Quartermasters. We need one more land for them. Or a Giada. A Giada would work too. Which you have in this deck, so. They can't block it. They can come at us for five. Okay, so they're going to come at us for four. Draw a land. Top deck of land, please. Okay. Thank you on the top decking land. We don't have anybody with a 1-1 one, one counter, so that's not applicable. So they got to draw another land. Now we have plus ones, so. This coming out would be good for us. Fell Stinger has Death Touch. They've got this set up to, to make that. Set. Because these little guys keep coming out, these token artifact creatures. I can't pull the one. I could take out the Fell Stinger. I could also take out the Mukotai. So 
because we have first strike. They wouldn't gain any life from it. And that's a win. Ta-da! Yay! We didn't kill a lot of their creatures. I mean, we killed, what, two, three? Four. We killed four of their creatures. Wow. I, I didn't believe that was a killing deck, but apparently it was. Let's try Greeters and see how Greeters does. Gooey Blue is our opponent. Oh, they're all gooey. Uh, Fang, Autumn. Yeah, okay. Well, we can get everything out. Red green deck, pack song pup. We're gonna need some mirrors that we don't have. We should gain three life. That is a three three. We've seen quite a bit of these packs. Play a creature card from your hand. Oh man, five. Okay, they want it, they want the Kodama gone. That makes sense. I want to do this. Howling Moon. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target wolf or werewolf control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, create a two, two green wolf token. It's not my second spell. Right now, we're just playing defense. They haven't come at us. Oops. 
Looks like they might, though. Okay. Ten, nineteen, twenty-eight. Yeah, we're dead. Good game. I can't continue to block that. I could have blocked it this one turn, and that would have been it. Maybe that's a deck we need. We've killed 13 of 15. So, edit our cleric deck. I've got it set up right now as a black-white deck. We want life gain. Flying, trample, life leak. Not a lot of black in here. We probably should put some mirrors in here. Chaplain of Alms has first strike and war. Ward, but then it has to stir, means it can come from our graveyard. The escort, sacrifice it, we get plus one plus one life link indestructible. This one is just tap it and get one life every turn. Five to put a one one counter on it. Yeah, that costs quite a bit. We need 13 more cards. So definitely these four. Whenever. Art Ghoul, or another zombie you control dies, look at the top card of your library. If it's a zombie card, you may reveal it. Yeah, that doesn't really help for what I'm looking to do here. So I guess because of how cheap it is to get out, the, the official, the unholy officiant, and I guess we can go with the Chaplain of Alms. And uh, I guess an Allenbach. It's neither day or night, it becomes day as yes. Celestia Sanctifier enters the battlefield. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them in your. Yeah. Okay, so let's craft that and let's run a cleric deck this time and see how it runs. Um, I want that to be a card for our cleric deck. All right. black white cleric deck so this will be our last hand
Okay, so nothing. We can't play anything with what we've got. There, we could play stuff with this. Uh, what do we put away? We've got two of these guys. Let's put one of them away. Start. With this guy. Jewel Thief. Gain two life, so this pumps up twice. Defiler of Vigor, that's a 6-6 six, six creature. And that pumped up to a 4. Okay, so... Uh, do I do this one? Nope, because that would lose one life. So we'll do this one. We'll gain 3 more. Pump, pump. Pump. And this now has vigilance. So another defiler vigor. Ow, but everything pumped up. Yikes. All right, so. This guy, pump up once. Actually, twice, sorry. This one, pump up three times. I was going to pump up three more times. Oh, no, I wasn't. I couldn't. That's, a, that's good, though. I mean, that was a good win. All right, so... Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is In Harm's Way. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.